Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you watch Thursday's video all the way to the end, you um, notice I said that there was going to be a surprise video today, or a video, not so much a surprise, because I post one every week. Uh, the surprise is that we're pregnant. Um, we are expecting in September, and it's been really hard to not tell you for the past month or so, to month and a half that we've known. Um, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, make every make sure everything was going good. Um, and we've had our first scan. Everything seems to be healthy so far, and we're getting really excited. Uh, we're telling, you know, people in our lives, and you are in my life, and it really affects everything in my life, including my planning. So um, I'm happy to be able to like share that with you and share how it's affecting everything that's going on. Um, I've been really wanting to tell you the reason like half of the reason that i january was such a wash for me one half was that i did have a cold i did have a cold and it lasted three weeks at least plus some trailing symptoms my ribs still hurt from that cough i had so that's been a lot but then the other thing is um the pregnancy <laughs> symptoms have just been really kind of debilitating for me and i'm trying to rebuild back to a place where I feel more like myself. Um, so anyway, this is gonna be the first of monthly updates for my pregnancy. I wanted to share that with you. Um, last time I was pregnant, I didn't really talk quite as regularly about it, but I thought that that would be something I wanted to share um, so that you can join me along on my journey. Um, I hope that maybe I'm taking this journey with some other of you if you are a new or a soon to be new mom joining me for these bump dates, then welcome. My channel mostly does planner stuff, but I also do um, lifestyle and family things, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more pregnancy and baby related videos coming out, so look forward to those. So right now, I am nine weeks along. So that um, means that baby is about the size of a grape. Um, working right now on, I guess he's got fingers and not toes yet, but fingers, and is growing teeth, so that's interesting. Um, I have lost a little less than a pound since I found out I was pregnant, um, so no weight gain just yet. I'm at uh, 129. Uh, let's see, the symptoms, yeah. So I've had a little bit of morning sickness in that I get some nausea, but it's very mild and manageable. I can mostly breathe through it and just sort of burp into a cup if I'm feeling that it's a little risky. Um, but I haven't thrown up yet. Um, so knock on wood that that continues to be the case. I just occasionally will get some waves of nausea, but um, nothing that has actually like sent me dashing to the bathroom. Um, the symptom that has been really affecting my life is fatigue. And I don't want to reiterate too much of what I said in a previous video, which I will link in the corner, I did a whole video about hormones and planning, um, and I filmed that during the first trimester. If you go back and watch that one, I talk a lot about how the first trimester of pregnancy was a lot like that week around my period for me where I um, have a hard time thinking straight and where I'm really tired, um, and it is, again, like that this time. Um, I don't have the visceral memory of it, but looking back at that video, I look exhausted in that video. I don't know how I look today or how I'll look to myself in another couple months, but um, yeah, I've been, it, it's just been something that I'm coping with. I am learning coping mechanisms because basically in the morning, I'm good. I'm okay in the morning. A little bit of nausea, like I said. Then come afternoon, like after lunch, that 2.30 feeling time, right, around 1 or 2, I will start to just slow down. And it's like wading through mud to try to think straight, to try to get anything done at work. Um, and I, I feel just exhausted, like I could just literally fall asleep at my desk. Um, and I've been going to bed as soon as possible. Basically, the baby goes down between 7.30 and 8.00. And then I'll finish up the dishes, you know, tidy up her toys, and then I'm off to bed myself because I'm just that tired. Um, so the mornings are fine. I'm filming this earlier on. Um, but then the afternoons have been really tiring. So I've been, um, it's been getting better the last week or two uh, where 
I'm learning coping mechanisms, I think is really what it is. Um, I think maybe it's starting to get a little bit better. I guess they say as the placenta takes on more of the work, uh, that's why like nausea goes away. I think that transition into the second trimester is when a lot of the symptoms start to go away because of that. Um, and I'm not quite there yet. I'm expecting to still feel this way for the next month um, until I hit that like 12 week mark. So, you know, I'm learning that this is just where I am. And so I'm taking naps when I can um, and I'm moving when I can and I'm front loading my days when I can so that I can get as much done in the morning, like at work, for example. If I can set everything up a little bit, you know, through my fog the night before, then I come in first thing at eight o'clock in the morning, I can get a whole bunch of stuff done and then like put off my emails until later. That's helping me a little bit to, to stay focused and to stay on top of my workload and not let it get the better of me while I just feel like I'm coasting. Uh, I haven't had a lot of cravings or aversions. I mean, aversions, I, a lot of things don't sound good to me, um, but really it's just like, there's nothing I feel like I want. I've been eating less, I think, um, trying to, to keep snacking throughout the day. I have given up coffee. I did not expect to. I kept drinking coffee throughout my first pregnancy and I love coffee, but lately it just hasn't sounded appealing to me. So sometimes when I want a hot drink, I'll have either hot chocolate or uh, tea. I've been drinking Earl Grey tea. I did find out that apparently a green tea inhibits folic acid absorption, which is, uh, green tea is usually my go-to. So it was a good thing I found that out early on because I haven't been drinking green tea. I've been drinking Earl Grey, which does have caffeine. Um, but I usually it's like one or maybe two cups a day. Um, and so that's been something that I can do. I've been doing a lot of um, morning breakfast smoothies because that's something like cold things I can usually get down better. Um, I also have some ice cream bars that are like my just in case I need a little something in my stomach because hunger increases nausea, which means that you don't eat. So it increases hunger and it's just not a good cycle. So you gotta keep eating. I haven't really done anything to like prep for the baby just yet. We've had a couple discussions about what we're gonna do to the nursery. Um, I think we're gonna keep the baby in her crib, um, the toddler, I mean, in her crib, cause she's still happy in the crib and get a second crib for the new baby. And we're gonna have to move things. I don't know if we're gonna be able to keep the rocking chair in the nursery or we might have to move it to the living room if there's no room. Um, but other than that, we've just been working on telling people uh, when we see them in person, we have some more phone calls to make. Um, hopefully those will have gone out by the time this video is live. This is kind of my deadline because um, I want to I wanna let people know. I want people to share the joy. Um, and that's, yeah, kind of where I am. And so for my concern for the next month, as it were, I just, for this next month, my goal is to try to get back on track um, to work on, like, my planner, um, like, getting it feeling like it's under me. Like I did a brain dump this morning and it was great. I'm starting to feel like I'm not losing things, that I am proactively working on things. And that's just sort of what my goal is. Instead of that like trailing behind, doing the bare minimum and like barely looking at my planner that I had been for the last few weeks, I'm starting to feel more like myself. I'm starting to claim that and just prioritize that. So that's where I am going forward, hoping that um, in about a month I will stop feeling quite this exhaustion because I do remember that the second trimester in my last pregnancy I felt really good. Um, it was before all of the like can't sleep, can't move, um, but after all of this fatigue where I just can't even think. So that is my bump date for month two, uh, two months pregnant. And so I'm going to be doing one of these around the midpoint of each month until the baby comes because their due date is September 14th. So I uh, look forward to those. If you are here and all about the pregnancy and baby content, do not forget to subscribe um, because I'm going to be posting a lot of these videos on Sundays and then Thursday are my planner videos. So I will see you in the next one on Thursday, which I believe is going to be a flip through. See you then. Bye.